Okay, what we are doing today is we are replacing this leaky expansion tank. It's leaking right here. It's leaking at the seam. Well, I got that going. And replace the TMP back there. Air vent there. And that rusty pump there. So this one should be fun. Right now I had to couldn't turn that valve back there. That's the main water coming in. I was afraid that uh, if I turned it, it wouldn't reopen. So right now what I'm doing, I got the well shut off. I think I got the main water. Oh, do I have the main water shut off? Or no. That goes up. Where does that come off? Where does the half inch T come off? Oh boy, where does that come off at? Half inch comes off the softener. Let me shut that off. There we go. So you still get 40 pounds of pressure in that, in that tank here. Oh yeah, that thing's seized. Seized. Alright, I'm going to pop this auto vent off there to get this thing to drain. She's good on there. Uh -huh. Oh, she don't want to come off. I'm get that off. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, boop, boop, boop. Tank's kind of flooded, so it's warm as can be, and it's still draining. I don't want to be here all day, so I'm going to have to drill it. So let me drill the tank here really quick. And I'm just going to drain it in the bucket, so I don't have a ton of weight on this thing. There we go. One way to get the water out of there. I'm tired of waiting. Give me a little good and plump ball. I don't think my bucket's big enough. I might have to uh, plug it up with my finger and empty the bucket. That's what I'm going to have to do. Alright. She's still draining. I already got my pen off. Got my TMP off. That was on there so good I had to heat it up to get it off there. There's a lot of water in that sucker. Well, couldn't get the tank off. Had to unsolder to that. And I want to solder back in, it won't take. Having problems with it. I mean, it's pointed that way. So, probably what I'll do is, uh, and, and the tank was sitting this way. I don't know if I have enough room. <laughs> Actually, what I'll do is I'll cut this up here. 
put my T right here. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here like this. I think, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that the way it is sideways. <laughs> yeah, I'll come over here and uh, let's see. I wonder if I have a plumber strap to strap this thing up. I probably do. I got some there. Let's see if I got some more, but I'm gonna take this, cut this thing right here, swing it around to right here. And uh, put a valve here or here and run black pipe over here and down to the tank. So I just don't like that. All right, let me cut this thing apart. This is what we got so far. We got a repair coupling here, so didn't have much room to move this. Can come off. Here, I put a little black nipple here, valve, another nipple, and a 90 down. Now I'll hit the tank. What we had to do, it's, it's pretty darn sturdy just sitting there, it doesn't need to hang. So I went from having the tank pointed back there to point it out here. So, I'm going to cut this out, put the T in, put a valve in there so I can easily change the tank if needed. Didn't have that before. Just getting it bled out right now. So, get this thing up and running in a minute here. What a job. Then I couldn't get the pump out. The bolts, I didn't have any flange bolts, so I can't. I'm like, okay, well, I'll leave it off alone, it's working, and I'll just come back and change it. When I get the flange bolts, not a big deal. So, this has been my adventure for the last four hours. Not fun. But it's part of boiler work, nothing you can do. Let me get this thing bled out and I get it started up. Didn't get to finish filming that uh, rest of that boiler. But uh, that thing was a bear. It did not want to come apart. And when it came apart, it did not want to go back together. And uh, as you can see, you know, I, I mean, it was pretty rough shape. Um, and it's just from leaking over the years and. I don't know, I, I did just didn't want to come apart. I didn't even change the pump out because I couldn't get the bolts. I was going to bust the bolts off of it. So now I, I got to reorder, I got to order the bolts. I didn't have any flange bolts on the truck, so now I got to order flange bolts, get back out, change the pump out, and I'm finally done. And hopefully I can get the damn thing apart because I'm just going to sawzall it apart. Um, but hopefully I, I'll get that one on video. Um, but really, that's it, it for this one. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. I will talk to you later.